Okay, welcome back to the workshop. So today's a quick T5 update, but more a ask for help. So the suspension snapped, well the coil spring snapped on the van, and I'm looking to replace them. So I'll show you that now. Let's come through here. So here's the fan. Now as you can see, before it was about kind of that height off the ground. So now you can see how low that is. Obviously I can't drive it because the wheel doesn't lock fully and the springs also touch in the tyre. I don't think you'll see inside very well. But the core springs broke so this is a van it's just been left here abandoned for a while you can see it's quite if you can see that it's quite mossy <laughs> that's how long it's been but to show you inside i haven't been inside myself for a, for a few months but it's still bone dry it's not really it's not damp or anything in here obviously this was the point that we got to with the build. Let's get back in here. So this is the tent workshop edition that we'll get to now we're back filming. Okay, so as you've just seen, the suspension's broke. This video is an ask for help because I want to know what you guys are running. There's so much options with suspension on the market. Now, I don't want to go like stance, like a 300 pound kit. Probably want to go up to about 1300 max, 1000 uh, pound. But there's also a couple of kits that are about 600 pound. But I'd like to ask what you guys are running. So if you could drop me a comment below to let me know what you guys have got in your buses, your vans, so that I know it. You know, I've got experience firsthand, so practicality, I use the van. It's I tow with it, I, I move weight around with it, uh, and obviously now, after this video, I'm going to be starting, once I've got the suspension on, I'm back on the camper conversion. So it's going to have beds in, it's going to be heavy. So I don't want anything that drives like a, you know, an absolute shoe. I think a few people mentioned something about Solo, uh, which I'd never heard of. I think they're about £1,300. So if you're running those, do you find them any good? Have you bought a £600 kit? Uh, is it any good? Uh, or am I better off just spending that bit extra and going just above the grand mark and getting some, some more bill stains on it, stuff like that. And that's it really. So quick update. The shop is... like this we've got this little tent edition now the lighting and everything is an issue that obviously I've got to overcome that's a bit better there yeah I'm back now I'm back filming I'm gonna buy a suspension for this I've been using the van I was using the van for work hence why the conversion stopped this is definitely the longest conversion ever ever made like ever done by somebody so I need to get motivated again back on it I need to get it finished I need to get because I already have got the gas, the cupboards, the bed, everything from when I was doing it before. Um, but I mean the leisure battery has been under the seat for two years. And not even ever charged or ever had current running through it. So I definitely need to get back on it. So if you guys can give me a help with the suspension. As soon as I'm happy that there's a, there's a multiple kind of like pattern of what you guys are using and recommend. Then basically I'll buy it. I may film fit in it or I might just get it on. Um... And then as soon as it's on, I think it's still got some MOT left. I'll literally just tax it and um, start the conversion again. Then hoping I can fit it in the tent so that I can be filming through this winter. And it's not outside, you know, fit the cupboards and stuff. But yeah, thanks for uh, coming back. Welcome back to the shop. This is a revised version of the shop. Uh, there's some changes coming with the channel now. Some exciting videos, some great content. I'm back filming at least once a week. So that will mean at least a couple of free videos a month. 
So bear with it. Thanks for coming back. If you're still here, give us a like and uh, drop us a comment in regards to the suspension if you can help me out. Thanks. I'm looking forward to getting back into this and I'll see you soon.